this week on Carolina All Out. This is going to be great. I'm looking forward to getting out there and doing it. Let's get after him. See him right there? It was fast. It was blood on the deck. It was bow fishing. It was awesome. And that is another common. There you go, another grass. Good job, Corbett. There he is right there. Yeah. There you go. Can't hide from me. I can do this all night. Bow fishing on Jordan Lake. This is Carolina All Out. This week, the Carolina All Out crew heads to Jordan Lake to cruise the shallows for carp, bowfin, and other rough fish that call this 14,000 acre reservoir home. Stretching across Chatham, Wake, Durham, and Orange counties, B. Everett Jordan Lake supplies water to almost a half million people and offers recreation to thousands yearly. The calm, shallow backwaters and coves of the lake offer the perfect conditions for fish like carp and bowfin. Chris is meeting up with hardcore bow fisherman Corbett Lackey of Staley to cruise out to some of Corbett's favorite spots to try his hand at a sport he hasn't done in a long time. All right, guys, today we are here on Jordan Lake with Corbett Lackey, and Corbett is going to take us out for some bow fishing. And Corbett, you've got a kind of a specialized boat here. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the norm. Uh, the only thing specialized about it really is the, the kicker set up on the back. This right well, here, the only thing you gotta worry about is tearing something up if you hit a rock. Well, that's good, and ain't hopefully not too many rocks out there no, on that thing. No. So Corbett, uh, we're holding a couple of different bows in our hands, and these are, I suppose you could make them work out in some way or form or fashion for regular hunting, but these are set up for, specifically for bow fishing. These are actually uh, specifically for bow fishing. For people who haven't seen these type of fish points here, and so I know it's just a turn and a half or so, because once that goes through, that turns out, and I've seen it hold some pretty good sized fish. Oh, yeah, and, and Very cool little setup. This is gonna be great. I'm looking forward to getting out there and doing it. Let's get after them and, and uh, see what we can find. The sun's gonna be going down soon. Yeah, they I, should be getting Sounds like the, tra the traffic I hear has kind of died down on the lake, so we yep. should have a good night. I'm looking oh, yeah. forward to this, so I'm ready to go. Yep. This smells like a bow fishing boat. Yeah, <laughs> Success. Success. <laughs> so Corbett, sun's going down. Now, we're gonna try to get in position and be kind of hanging out there, waiting yeah. on them. Yeah, uh, usually the grass carp will get a little more active with the last hour before dark. Uh, by the time we get to where we're going, we're gonna be about that on that time. So the name of the game is to get up in that three to zero foot of water. Yeah, uh, depending on really boat traffic, uh, some places we can see up to three foot, but most of the time in that one to two foot range. One to two foot range. Well, it's going to be a beautiful afternoon. I know this. Hopefully, we'll be moving along so the bugs won't eat us up there. Yeah, yeah we'll keep we'll keep moving steady. On these bow fishing boats, of course, light is very important. And as much light as this boat is putting out, there's no way you could run it off of just batteries alone. So you're gonna have to have a generator. And a generator is gonna be that hum that you hear in the background all night long, but you don't even think about it after a period of time. You're just having so much fun shooting those fish. Good 
job, good job. Is that a common? Yep. That's a nice that's a common. Sign. That's a good common. There he is right there. Yeah. I mean, I could barely see him. I went, went, out, went out that way. All right, Jordan Lake is getting it done with the cart. Put him in over here. Yep. Get him right. All right, let's see what we... That is a common cart. We just stuck him and uh, we're way up here. You can see the bugs. I'm, I'm eating more bugs right now. I'm not gonna be hungry after the night's through because I'm eating so many bugs right now. So it makes me not want to talk. But anyway, you can see this. We're gonna take, walk him right around the back of behind here. Down he goes. You don't have to run the whole time if it's hurting your back. There you go, there you go, grass car, good. There you go, there you go. Good job. Got him. Oh man, that was fast. Good job, man, I was turning around and looking at somebody else. Whoa. Woo. Looky here. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be easy on him. Woo! Corbett, look at there. That's what it's all about, man. Now, I'm telling you what, we got a strung out mess, but look at that. Man, uh -huh. that was fast shooting, though. It was. You were it on was. it. I turned around and looked the other way, and bam, you that, were on it. That's the way it happens. There is a grass cart. Corbett said we might just have a chance at it, and I'll be doggone if he didn't find him right there. Look how big that fish is. Wow. Stay tuned for more bow fishing action right here on Carolina All Out. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. XGO, those who know, wear XGO. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Browning, the best there is. New Sports Shop, we've got the gear. And by Farms and Land Realty. Selling land is what we do. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. Jordan Lake is showing Carolina bow fisherman Corbett Lackey and host Chris Douglas an abundance of fish. Only problem is Chris is having a little difficulty connecting. That's, that's going to be a big whelp there in the morning. Well, you can see we moved up. There's grass all along here. So we got out of the back of one of those creeks and now we moved up along. Basically, we're moving back into another creek, but a little bit different scenery with this grass. So the, the carp are up in this grass. Um, sometimes you might see a, a mud swirl in front of us where a fish has already left and vacated. So we're just trying to catch those that are lagging behind. This is jumping along. There you go. There you good shot. I got a pile of mud. Does that count? <laughs> there you go. The name of the game in bow fishing is shooting good. under your target. You nice, you know, it sounds crazy, Stone. but water refracts or bends the light. So when you see a fish here, he's actually not there. He's actually below there. So you're gonna have to aim below where you would see the fish at. It's, it's kind of weird, 
feels strange at first, but after a while you, you get used to it. And for me, I know this concept, but it still took me a while to get used to it because I'd been out of it for so long. Bugs aren't too bad right now because Corbett's keeping us moving all the time, but when we stop for just a few minutes, they are on us. And uh, it's just part of what you run into when you're doing this kind of, uh, kind of fish. You can see the muddy spots there where fish are taking off and leaving. But we're having a good time. Right there, right there. Oh. I, didn't, really. I missed the sucker. There you go. Get out of the way there. There you go. Right to the head. Corbett likes that head shot. They don't run as far. <laughs> That's right. Gotta get used to shooting again. I miss Corbett hit. That's good. That's why you always bring a good backup. There he is right here. I miss him again. Shot over. Yeah. Oh, that broke. Good as new. Sometimes you got to do a little maintenance, right? That's it. Right there, right there, right there. Yep. Broke that spine on him. He ain't. I bet it. Well, he's going to flop a little bit. Stay tuned for more Jordan Lake carp action right here on Carolina All Out. Hey, my name's Chris from New Sports Shop, Kent's North Carolina. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about, you know, getting started in the bow hunting. Um, we have a very good selection of bows here. This particular one is a Mission Hype DTX. It grows with you as you go, so the smallest child to the biggest of man can shoot this bow. It's adjustable from 19 inches of draw length to 30 inches of draw length, and 14 pounds all the way to 70 pounds. This bow in particular is in the brown camo. It comes with arrows, a detachable quiver, a whisker biscuit, a trophy ridge sight, and a stabilizer. So the only thing you really need is some broadheads, some practice, and a release. If you want to learn more about this bow or any other bow we have in the store, come on down to New Sports Shop on Highway 70 and check us out. CAO host Chris Douglas and Carolina boat fisherman Corbett Lackey cruising the backwaters of Jordan Lake in search of carp, bowfin, and the occasional red horse sucker. All right, all right. And making a scene there, boys. Yeah. Look at that, sitting right there. See him sitting right there? There we go, double. Nice one too, yes sir. We're getting into a few more now. I don't think I went all the way through, did I? I had to shake him off. Well, you can see we're still going through these grass beds and I just shot this carp and the way we saw him, we really didn't see him, but we could see the grass moving along up ahead. So he's moving through the grass and bumping it. And so that gets our attention. And so we move up slowly on him and we basically are stalking him. We're stalking him and, and kind of getting to the, uh, get into a place where we can where we can get him in the clear and get a shot on him. So we got a shot on this one and we'll, there should be a lot more hanging out here. There he is right there. Yeah. Not a bad one. Yeah, he's a heavy one. There's a heavy one. I'm gonna lose him. Yeah, that's a good, good card. I'm gonna go ahead and there you go, right there. All right, got it. Oop, I got, I'm, you're good. There's another one. And that is another common. And uh, I don't know, maybe three, four pounds. So 
just gonna turn that air. I'm gonna walk them around this way. And dump them in here. That's all right. We can do this again. I can do this all night. Get him. Ooh, there you go. Both in, good job. Nice boat pin, look at that. All right. Look at that grinnel right there. And that is a boat fin. We call them grinnels around here sometimes. It's a cool fish. It is. It they is. really you are. Lip him? Uh, you no, I'll, lip him? I'll pass. You sure? Yeah, you want to see why we won't lip him? All right. That, that is all right, Corbett. I'm telling you what. All right, here he is. Missed him. Right there. Ah, I think I shot in front of his nose. There you go. Back him up. Corbett strikes again. Can't hide from me. <laughs> I'll pop out right in front of you here. You know, we spent hours out there bow fishing and I just lost complete track of the time. When you are focused on the water in front of you trying to see that fish, the minutes click by into hours and before you know it, it's three, four o'clock in the morning and you're getting ready to see the sun come up. There you go. There you good shot. You got it. I got a pile of mud. Does that count? <laughs> There you go. Corbin's got, he's got that figured out there. Good job, Corbin. More carp action coming up right here on Carolina All Out. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. XGO, those who know, wear XGO. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. DNZ Products, precision scope mounts and scope rings. Miopta Sport Optics, see more, hunt longer. And by the Dixie Deer Classic, the South's premier sporting event. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. The bow fishing action is heating up right here on Carolina All Out. In this particular instance, the fish that we were taking were going to go into a garden spot. Corbett had a place that he wanted to put these fish at, spread out in the garden spot, and turn them under into the soil so they would rot and really help the soil there. Um, fish are a great source of fertilizer, and even our Native Americans taught the pilgrims that about putting the fish head beside each one of the plants that they planted, so or beside a seed. So um, we had a great opportunity, and also knowing that these fish weren't going to waste is a great thing. There you go, good job. Oh. Had, had a great shot at that carp and missed him totally. Corbett cleaning up again. Now, finally. I do better when I have to do it fast. <laughs> Chris is back on the board again. With another carp. Hey, look, Corbett then pulled one out too. We got a double. Can't beat that. That's a there sucker. You go. Oh, it is a sucker, ain't it? Yep. Now, the red horse sucker. Now, my grandfather really loved to eat those. They are. They're real good. Yeah, they're real good eating. I know a lot of. I know a lot of people that will dig them. Yeah. And they'll, they'll... Yeah, that's that's really cool. We are on them now. I can see the see the carp. They're all underneath the boat right now, so we're gonna to try to get these off. And that's the problem you run into when you get one on the arrow and there's more around. You wanna to try to shoot the other ones, but you can't. There you go. There you go, good shot. Corbett's on the board, nice one. Nice fish. You know, it was really awesome to be 
on Jordan Lake again, bow fishing. I experienced that as a young man, and now it's back here doing it, and I'm sharing it with everyone. Uh, going out with someone who does it uh, weekly, um, sometimes daily, Corbett and his group of uh, bow fishermen are dead serious about this. It was just a pleasure to, to be able to hop on the boat with him and see how it's done and then play a part in it. And, you know, we had a good night. Um, we would have had a better night if I could have hit a few more, but all in all, we brought some fish back to the boat ramp and it was a great experience and I want to do it again. I'm telling you, it was that much fun. I want to do it again. Corbett, thank you so much for taking us out and letting us experience this. I think this would be a great way to take kids into the outdoors, don't you think? It will. Uh, great way to introduce anybody to the outdoors. I agree. I agree. I felt like a little kid out there all over again. It was a I, lot I of fun. I do every night I go. That's great. It's got that passion. Look, guys, we're here on Jordan Lake, but there are lakes and rivers across the state of North Carolina that have rough fish in it that you can boat fish on. So you make sure that if you have the opportunity, you do it. And if you have the opportunity to take a kid, by all means, you should. Um, we're going to do some more bow fishing uh, this year, but in years to come. And you can catch it all right here on Carolina All Out. Shot day, get him, get him. I mean, both of us missed. Yeah. <laughs> You've been watching me miss a lot. If you're looking for me. Doesn't hurt the environment. If anything does good, and we got some guys that are still, still, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna put himself back in gear again. Don't you know what I'm talking Get back again. Concept, we're good. Huh. out of the environment and so I'm going to have to have you go over this way kind of killing me there I'm coming back to Bowfish on Jordan no, I don't like that one awesome Daisy. <laughs>